let's talk about angels. I'm going to tell you how I got introduced to angels. When I had COVID, I mean, this is a long story, but I'm going to try to make it short. I'm going to talk really fast because I don't think I have a lot of minutes on my phone. But um, <clears throat> when I had COVID and I wasn't doing good, I was home alone in Florida. I was so sick, deadly sick. And um, I came home from work and I knew I had it because that night I had like, 17 patients out of my 29 patients because we were so short staff 17 of them had COVID and I knew I was going to get it but I wasn't afraid of getting it but you know I got it and I'm not mad at them or anything but anyways um I got it and then I told my boss and I went home and then I took you know a couple of weeks off actually but I was deadly sick so I went home and I, my fever was so high and I had nobody there to take care of me. And um, I called up to my mom, which is my spirit guide, and she showed up because I couldn't get off the toilet and to and go to my room. I was so sick. And then she gave me strength and I was so sick. I thought I was going to pass away. And I called out for my mom. I said, Mom, I felt my mom pick me up and take me to my room. And I said, well, I, at least I don't have to die in the toilet, right? Because I've seen many people as a nurse dying on the toilet in the hospital and all that, you know? So I didn't want to be one of them. How embarrassing would that be, right? So anyways, uh, my mom helped me. Spiritually got me up and took me to my bedroom. And I, then I relaxed and I said, God, thank you. At least I'm in bed and I'm ready to go. It's my turn now. Now I'm the patient. I'm not the nurse today. I'm the patient. And I'm ready to go take me because I feel like I'm going to go and then I took a nap and then I woke up I felt these angels around my I, I saw these 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 beautiful I saw this light first around my bed and a whole bunch of they look they look like um beautiful people with wings and I didn't know what they were, but then I was like, oh my God, these are angels, you know? And they had these white capes and big wings. And I saw Archangel Michael in the middle of my bed and then his other angels besides him smiling at me. I was like, what? And I was like, he's like, you're not going anywhere, young lady. And that was part of my awakening too, you know? And then I got introduced to angels. Mm-hmm by that day and then the next morning he gave me strength to get up and go to my kitchen and start drinking fluids because literally I had nobody who would take care of me nobody but God did God showed up God and Archangel Micah showed up and this is how I got introduced to angels that was a day I mean I believed in angels before but I didn't know you know know that they really existed but then um he told me who I was that day, too. He goes, you're Angel Gabriel. You know that, right? I'm like, what? He's like, yep. So he gave me, uh, he told me about my contract that, that that I had when I came to this earthly place. Me and him, me and Archangel Michael had a contract. And I'm supposed to come here and help Jesus with his purpose. And it was going to be the hardest contract. And the, the deal was, I don't have to come back after this reincarnate. And that's why it's been the hardest, and that's why the enemy's been after me and all that. But I got this, you know. Anyways, thanks for listening, and I just wanted to share my story, how I got introduced to angels. And angels do exist, and call upon them. Mm -hmm. And whoever is watching, Archangel Michael is your angel. Whoever's watching today.